Hi, for this video we are going to find the weighted mean with a TI Inspire graphing calculator. So what we are going to do is we're going to start on the home screen. Um, if you remember the way that the weighted mean is calculated is it takes um, the average for each of the categories times the weight of that category. So this would be calculating a grade in a classroom. Um, so instead of using the formula where we have to do hand calculations to do the 87 times 0 0.3, 92 times 0 0.20, etc., what we are going to do is use the TI Inspire to help us. So what we want to select is a spreadsheet screen, so that's what we're going to start with. And remember that we have to name our um, values. So for this, I'm going to just call this the average AVE. I'm just going to use AVE for average. You can call it whatever you want to. You could call it X. You could call it whatever. And then I'm going to put in my values. So my average values are I have an 87, a 92, an 82, and a 95. And then we're going to do this same thing with the next column. So we're actually going to... Um, call this one the weight. So I'm going to use W-E-I. I'm just going to use W-E-I for my weight. And then we would put it in, you can put it in either as 30, 20, 25, and 25, or you can put it in as 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Either way, it's going to give you the same answer because remember that it's going to divide by the sum of the weights. So it'll either divide by 100% or it will divide by 1 if you put it in as decimals. So either way, you'll get the same answer. Um, so let's go ahead and just put it in as 30, 20, 25, and 25. Okay. After you have the data entered in, I like to do all of my calculations on a calculator screen, so I'm just going to control I and add a calculator. And for this one, what we are going to do is we're going to go to menu and then we're going to go to the statistics screen. And for this one, I'm going to do stat calculations, which is option one. So that was menu, statistics, which was option six, and option one, stat calculations. And I'm going to choose the first one, one var stats, or one variable statistics. For this one, even though we are working with two lists, we really only want to work with one. And my X1 list is going to be my averages list. So under my variables, if I right arrow over, I can see that they show up and I would just either type in AVE or um, I can use the right arrow. After I put that in, I'm going to go down to where it says frequency list. The frequency list is going to be our weights. Wherever we put our weights at is going to be our frequency. So for this one, what we want to do is we want to change this. Instead of being one, we want to use our other list, the weights list, to help us calculate our average. After we are done with that, we're going to leave the other two blank, and I'm just going to hit enter. And the only thing that I want to look at on this screen is the X bar. The X bar is my average weight, so 88.75% would be my weighted mean. All of the other information I will explain in other vi um, videos, but the only one that you want to look at is the X bar, the 88.75. So our weighted mean for this setup would be 88.75%. As always, thanks for watching.